Round three. We have the choice again. Playing first. Yeah, this is actually a keep. Even though we have no red mana, we have a one drop and a powerful four drop in Giza's Bidding. I really like this card a lot. It seems like a card that really did not need madness, but I'm happy that it does. Double reduced to ashes is certainly awkward. All right. Ooh, Hunwear Militia Captain's pretty good. I'm glad he's attacking. I'm not going to block with the skeleton. Because I'd rather use it for a bigger... I can afford to take two damage. Bound by Moonsilver. That's a good one to find. Doesn't turn off activated abilities, does it? Nice. It's going to be... Real good when we get Mad Profit. Red mana here would be ideal. Kindly Stranger is not bad. So, I guess I murder his Compulsion now. Because if I play Kindly Stranger, he's not going to attack with the Militia anymore. And it's better to do that when he's only got one mana up. Because if he had two mana up and he does aim high, we've got a problem. Okay, well, if that's his best turn three, well, I spoke too soon. He did get something, but that's okay. A lot of draws here that are good. We're not going to kill that logger just yet. If he wants to flip it, I can deadweight it. So we can't transform it. I'm still a little bit unconvinced that's a huge deal. I guess I'd prefer to deadweight the Quilled Wolf, huh? But let's see if we get I guess we just kill Quilled Wolf and pass. Still just a land away from being okay here. Can't get it though. Kind of a bummer. So, taking more damage than we really should be. Yeah, Recruiter's really good. Pretty awesome value on that card. So we're going to have to draw a land at some point. It is uh, actually impossible to not draw lands uh, if we continue to draw cards. There we go. Very, very much late. Painfully late, to be honest.
Yeah, he's just going to keep reaping value. Yeah, I'm just going to presume he's got a combat trick. So we're going to take this. Still just kind of need a land. Yeah, it's... Yeah, that's pretty bad. We went from about 10% to 0% chance to win here. No. And I just, it's it's disappointing, but it, it is true. I, I don't see any possible way to win this at this point. I'd be amazed if we could, but I just, I don't see it. We're too far behind, and he's just going to get every creature in his deck with Dust Squatch Recruiter at this point. And we just took way too long to to get red mana. Guess we reduce this. crazy you don't even have to uh, you don't even have to do it at sorcery speed all right we're not going to show our opponents any more cards we've like I said gone to 0% chance to win there, so... Alright. Obviously unhappy about that, but... Uh, that's okay. Let's try this again. Draw better. And win this. Alright, we'll play first. Yeah, we'll keep this. A bit slow, but... We've got the compulsion, I guess, for early protection, and we find one of our madness enablers we're gonna look pretty good here like we could just rip an insolent neonate here and be really good for turn three All right. Um, gonna have to take four. Seems like a big hit on turn three, doesn't it? But that being said, I would prefer to use the murderous compulsion. Hmm. Can I afford to take four on turn three? Think that we are. Obviously, don't like it. Just seems like Burn From Within is going to be more useful later. I 
Courier is very good, but we do have the Reduced Ashes and the Twins of Maur Estate for that at some point. Sinister Concoction is actually a good draw, so let's... Uh... Yeah, that's that's actually fine. We're we're gonna set up for a nice Twins of Maur Estate play here. I still think we're on the Reduced Ashes Byway Courier plan. Just because I think it's in our best interest to... I think it's in our best interest to get rid of that without allowing for investigation, but I'm not sure yet. Let's just dump it. Like, yeah, I could have sinisterly concocted a plan there, but who knows? Maybe he just wants to flip, too. Looks like he does not. Quilled Wolf, okay. Mad Prophet as well, which is good. Just one mana short of the real money play here. <laughs> I just can't decide what I want to do here. Because if he has a land, the Quilled Wolf's going to be a big problem. If he doesn't have a land, the Solitary Hunter's going to be a big problem. So, kind of a case of big problems. I, re I just really cannot decide what's a bigger problem. Quilled Wolf requires all his mana and him having a sixth land. Solitary Hunter requires him to flip it. What? I? Why is this not readily coming to me? What is the bigger problem? The Quilled Wolf seems like it's the bigger problem, right? Because next turn he would just be able to swing for six. The Solitary Hunter would be less of a big problem because he has to wait and then flip it. So I guess that means kill the Quilled Wolf with the Concoction. But the unfortunate aspect is we have to do it on our turn. Otherwise, the hunter flips. We can also wait, let the hunter flip, see if he has the sixth land. But then if he does, I'm just facing down two really big threats. I really don't like this board state at all. All right. I think we're just going to kill the wolf and jam a twins here. This forces him to wait if he... I, I was really unhappy with that. But either play there, I'm unhappy, to be honest. I'm not happy with killing that. I'm not happy with killing that. I don't have a good play here either. I guess we play Mad Prophet. I might have to just take five damage. I'm one land short of being able to play two spells too, which is a bit rough.
So what are the chances he has a combat trick here? I guess we just play the Ember Eye Wolf because I can block the... Uh, I can double block it. So now the question is do I want to play lands from burn within from within or do I want to play or do I want to use mad profit? I guess I want the eighth land for Ember Eye, right? So I can activate it enough to single block the uh, one of the pack. All right, we're just going to burn this or try to. I just, I really don't know the chances of him. If he had a combat trick, he would have attacked, right? Doesn't that make sense? So now I guess he can tap and attack, so I guess we kind of have to. We kind of committed to it. All right, I guess that's good. Silver strike, yeah. Swamp and a neonate. Guess that's not a huge deal. I think he should have waited till end of turn. He could have killed me then. Because I probably would have attacked with Crow there. And forgot about Stern Constable. Plus Bound by Moon Silver for the win. Uh, so two cards I would have liked to have drawn, but I guess they wouldn't have been insane. Well, Sanitarium Skeleton's a good one. Twelve cards left in deck. I think we swing with Ember Eye Wolf. So let's go... One, two, three, actually, no, just five. Play the skeleton and pass.
Well, going to have to kill that. Really doesn't seem like a balanced card when you play against it. Feels very unbalanced, in my opinion. I mean, granted, it's only going off in the late game, but does anybody else feel like it's a little bit absurd? Necrobot against Stern Constable's problem. Uh... If I attack with this, it can tap and tap. So I guess we just play Necropod. Yeah. So I may need to just loot for a removal spell. I may not have any luxuries here otherwise. I'm kind of unconvinced that I that I do have luxuries here. I don't want to discard an arsonist, but if I don't draw a removal for that emissary now, I think I just lose. Well, that's... Yeah, I hate to see it. So I've only got seven cards left in my deck. I feel like... Doesn't it seem like every single one of them is a removal spell at this point? Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's a little bit funny. Still dead. The stern constable. Well, I guess I can... Oh, we're still dead, aren't we? Well, I guess we have four blockers. Maybe not.
So I'm going to lose this, but uh, pretty surprising. Worst performance with arguably my best deck. Isn't that the way it goes? Um, I basically went through my whole deck and there was nothing I could do about this Duskwatch Recruiter. Yeah, this, this card definitely feels unfair. Absolutely. Wow. Incredibly powerful card. But lessons always need to be learned. And this was certainly a big lesson, so... So, um, yeah, lessons learned. I've played red every time, so maybe I just need to stop playing red. But I never want to play a format where I'm forcing a color, so I, I can't do that. But I'll, I'll start to re-examine my evaluations here. Um, yeah, I mean, game one, we just didn't have a chance, which was a bummer, because we just never saw red mana. Game two... We just lost the Duskwatch Recruiter, like, not even kind of close. When you're drawing two extra creature cards a turn on a stalled board state, it's just... What a difficult card to beat. Um, no flying, I imagine, right? No? Okay. Well, 1-2 did very poorly. Very disappointing performance. But uh, early in the format... Still a lot to learn, so hopefully we'll do better in the next draft. We'll see you then.